That's the microphone one too. <clears throat> Good afternoon folks. Uh, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to uh, the Rostov campaign. We left off the last time... Uh, where did we leave off? Yeah, right after the uh, war with Muscovy, that could have gone a lot better. But oh well, we managed to uh, get the provinces we need to form Russia. I'm not even sure yet if I will form Russia, but we'll see. We got them and that's what matters in the separate peace deal. We got them. Well, it wasn't a separate peace deal, though. that was my intent. But yeah, I announced at the end of the last stream, yeah, I won't be streaming the the uh, following decades because it's it'll be repaying loans and speed fiving for a couple of decades until uh, our nation is a bit recovered from uh, taking Ryazan and Afghan from the mighty Muscovite bear, who is still hugboxing us, by the way. Oh well, but some is... While speed fiving, some really important, uh, some really weird stuff happened. And uh, as usual, I'm gonna give a couple of screenshots and talk like 10 minutes in a row about screenshots to get you up to date in the current uh, situation. I gotta excuse in uh, ahead of time again, but I've been playing. It's let's just say it's it has been a heat wave here in Belgium. And uh, I've been playing at night where uh, at my girlfriend's place where I cannot stream because of bad ISP. But I just couldn't resist the urge to continue there with my laptop. So yeah, uh, I'll show some screenshots. So let me take a look at OBS here for a second. Something like that. Everything looking okay, I guess. Yep. Nobody said a word already in chat. Okay. Anyhow. People uh, wanted me in the straw poll to actually show off personal union shenanigans, and I said, "Yeah, sure, I can do that with uh, I can do that with uh, Rostov also because why not?" The thing is that uh, my troops there in Rostov were trapped, so I ditched all the mercs and I only kept the cannons. But they were trapped because uh, Muscovy is hugboxing us. So I was just speed fiving, repaying my loans, destroying forts left, right, and center, integrating Teutonic Order, and yeah, well, just waiting until the truce with Muscovy was up so I could call the Ottomans in. And meanwhile, while speed fiving, uh, we got this pop up about an event in our ally that actually killed the heir of Saxony, and lo and behold, personal union mechanic. The ruler of Saxony, who was also uh, elected HRE Emperor, by the way, at the end of the uh, League War. The Protestants won the League War. So Saxony, our ally, got airless, and the Emperor got airless. And he was 51 years old, so at that, at that age, basically anything above age 30, I think, you get less and less and less chance of a new way of a new air and let's just say at 51 it's uh it's a bit low to actually uh expect an air still at 30 years no problem but at 50 years 60 years 70 years it all depends on how many royal marriages they got but let's just say i had a good chance of uh triggering something here and as you can see also as you can see also muscovy was airless i said this uh last time in the chat yeah, succession war between me and uh, Muscovy is still on the table. Why? Because I am the only Rurikovic uh, dynasty nation on the map. And uh, in that case, when the, uh, if Muscovy, then basically I am the defensive claimant in a succession war. And I was rigged, but yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, 28, 28 years in Muscovy, surely he'll get an heir. Surely he'll get an heir. Not! 
A couple of years later, I don't know, Muscovy stayed airless and aforementioned succession war triggered. I was like, oh, God, no. So you got to picture this. I got a union over Muscovy, who is ten times bigger as me. And for the first time in a long while, I thought it of burning that. But I said, yes, no, <laughs> I don't do that. We'll go along with it. Muscovy had like 150k troops while I had 18. Yeah. Just uh, picture this. Just take a good look at this window. And I was like, oh, fuck. Why? Well, because the Ottomans insta broke alliance because of uh, minus 200 wanting your provinces because they desired Muscovite land. I didn't border them before. I didn't border them before, so the uh, Muscovy was happy to be my ally. But once uh, the succession war started, the Ottomans were in the war. They got a defensive call to arms. But lo and behold, they broke alliance right after they were in the war, the day after. I've never seen an AI break an alliance during a war, but it seems it can if they got negative opinion with you during a war. Let's say uh, the, the Ottomans were on my side fighting in the war, the succession war. And in the same week after, they actually broke a lines while being in the war. So say they took minus three stability hit just to uh, dismiss my alliance. Because the minus 200 uh, once your province modifier was bigger. I think uh, even when maxed out, the Ottomans were maxed out on opinion, but even then... I only had like 160 opinion with him, and uh, they insta broke alliance. They insta broke alliance, and I was like, yeah, yeah, and a pace. Oh wow, you got a, you got a pu over Muscovy, <laughs> but you gotta picture this. Muscovy is ten times bigger than me, and uh, they were 100% liberty desire. How did you keep it? Oh, that's the problem, Tom. They changed that. Now, uh, it used to be so that uh, Muscovy, that a uh, personal union subject would break away at more than 50% uh, liberty desire. They changed that. Many people maybe didn't read the guide. It's in the guide already. But all you need now is positive opinion with your personal union subject in order to keep it. And I started with like, uh, with personal... Uh, with positive uh, opinion. But yeah, let's just say I was like, oh god, Muscovy, I will never, ever, ever get them loyal. They'll be just a personal union subject uh, that doesn't that doesn't do jack shit. But on the good side, their troops will prevent anybody, especially the Ottomans who insta broke alliance with me over wanting Muscovite land. Uh, from in, from engaging us, the troops from your uh, personal union guy, the AI does take them into account when declaring war directly. Yeah, Tom, don't ask. It just works like that. It was the case uh, before in earlier patches like 1.7. It was just uh, prestige, positive prestige you need to keep the union and then they added, uh, Liberty Desire has nothing to do with uh, keeping the union or not. You can keep a union at 100% Liberty Desire for 300 years in a row. On top of that, Muscovy didn't trust us at all. They had like five trusts. So had, I had like minus, I had like, Muscovy probably had like 200 Liberty Desire just because they didn't trust me. They were like 10 times bigger than me, but I. Yeah, I was flagged to keep the union as soon as I got positive opinion with Muscovy. I think I already started with positive... With, uh... Yeah, that's right, Anapace. Liberty Desire only matters for integration now. What does Liberty Desire do above 50%? Basically, it will keep it... It will make it so that Muscovy will only defend their land. So let's say I declare on Sweden. Then Muscovy can hold the east flank while I invade from Denmark, so to speak. The moment any enemy sets foot on Muscovite soil, they will defend themselves, but they won't actively help me in the wars. So, yeah. 
All in all, I didn't want this. But uh, my intention was to form Russia and get all the uh, claims on Muscovy and then just use my ally, the Ottomans, with favors to gradually eat gradually eat uh, Muscovy alive. But it, yeah, this happened. You got a picture this. The king was like, I don't know. Last, last uh, what did it say? Last screenshot? 28 years old or something? Yeah, he was 28 years old, and uh, bam, he died. No, nobody expects that, right? A king at 28 dying. But he was a militarist probably, and a general, and he just died. Bam. Good question there. Uh, support independence is useless too. No, it's not. But uh, nations that actually got vital territory on your personal union subject will never support your subject. Because Muscovy and Sweden actually flagged, basically because they border uh, Muscovy, they will never support their independence because they flagged it as vital interest. You cannot. I think the AI will never support independence of uh, of a subject that is actually that they actually desire land from. It's uh, it's pretty much logical, really. Why would the Ottomans support Muscovy? If they desire their land, and if they got claims on them, why would they? Why would they? And I'm pretty sure, in the case of uh, Ottomans, if you got a core on... Uh, because the Ottomans owned... Uh, what, what? Because the, the Ottomans owned the core of Muscovy, I think they cannot support their independence. They will get minus 1000. I should look it up. Why support if the subject never declare if it's a positive? Posit you know, I never said they w they will not declare independence for Tom. I, I never said that. It's just the union that will never end. That's uh, that's the thing. You abandoned this run? No, I went on speed fiving. So I didn't fight the war at all. You got to picture this. All the uh, allies got called into this war. Ottomans, the uh, Holy Roman Empire, Silesia, Pomerania, France, Denmark, everybody was in the war. And uh, yeah, well, basically, it was only Great Britain versus all that. Lithuania and Poland, that, those are separate wars. I, I actually, you, <laughs> you gotta fix it, is that was the, the upside from, uh, from having uh, Muscovy as a personal union. I could actually recruit Strelsky, or whatever you want to call them, in my capital and uh, roll my cannons out through Muscovy towards Poland and Lithuania. They, they were out of truce and I just invaded them again. I just invaded them again. Because why not? The funny side, uh, because the uh, succession war was a defensive war, I was able to start an offensive war versus Poland and uh, Lithuania while calling my allies in. So my ally, I called in Saxony and Silesia in the war versus Poland and Lithuania. So Saxony and Silesia were defending me versus Great Britain, but they also agreed to join the war versus Poland offensive. You can still start offensive wars while calling your allies in if you are in a defensive war. That works, no problem. So I just uh, did this. You have been playing outside of stream hours again. Yeah, yeah, but man, I cannot. I said it. Uh, yes, I said it at the end of the last stream. It would but just be boring, boring speed fiving, and uh, I played at night because, it, in all honesty, during the daytime, I enjoyed from the weather, and I cannot stream at my girlfriend's place with my laptop that I usually stream on. Because the ISP at my girlfriend's place is way too bad to stream. So I continued, but it was mostly speed fiving. It was mostly speed fiving. As I mentioned, uh, Saxony and Silesia actually did all the work. All the work for Poland and Lithuania. And I had to do jack shit. And in the end, I did a separate peace deal with Lithuania, full annexing them. Without lifting my fingers, I didn't do anything. It was all my allies that did this. And but they didn't care because it was a separate peace. And then uh, I think we made a peace in Poland in the end. 
that demanded for a couple of provinces, gave Silesia a bit, and that was it. That was it. Who's the ISP there? Yeah, well, my own, but in Belgium you got a pretty weird system. Uh, I use Telenet in uh, Belgium, and uh, every router from the same ISP that is in the vicinity of any place in Belgium uh, you are close by to, you can actually uh, log into the... Uh, you can use said router to actually join and use your internet. They call it Telenet WeFree. So basically you can log in on a WeFree router from uh, your neighbor or in a station or anywhere in a train and you can just look for Telenet and uh, log in on the Wi-Fi. That's the only upside of this ISP. Oh well. So, uh, Saxony, as for mentions, had air relevant at 51 years old and he didn't get a new air and my dynasty of Rurikovic actually spread and uh, Saxony was no longer emperor because yeah, the uh, Protestant electors cannot elect an heir that doesn't exist. So it went from the emperorship went from Saxony to uh, Brandenburg. Brandenburg then got wiped off the map, and uh, they got re-elected as uh, as emperors. Yeah, and a pace. You've heard of that, but you only get slow speeds. That is correct. That is correct. That is why I cannot stream at my girlfriend's place when I play at night. And I don't think she would appreciate it if I was blabbering in the middle of the night in English. And say, I could keep it quiet, the neighbors are sleeping. Blah, blah, blah. No, let's just say she doesn't want me to play games and stuff. But yeah, well, it's, it's one of those things games are often done. But oh well, never mind. Uh, so, money's worth and stuff, everybody came late. I got a union over Muscovy in a succession war. The king of Muscovy died at 29 years old airless. I didn't want the union, but I rolled with it. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no. Your microphone is a, is a bit high-pitched at the moment. Wait, what? Check that out. Uh, yeah, I, I will do it uh, after the stream then. A little bit high pitched. Oh, well, I, I could check the message settings for a bit. No, my filters, my filters are still all on. Hmm. Nope. I, there was an update to OBS, but I don't know if it changed anything. A bad microphone. No, it's still the same cheap headset. Anyhow, our dynasty spread into uh, Saxony and uh, they got HRE Empress back. Then I went for uh, Riga, because yeah, my allies fought the war with uh, Poland and Lithuania. I just focused on Riga. Riga was only an uh, ally to uh, Hamburg, which was, uh, I don't know, where is Hamburg again? Here, I think? Or is it here? Oh, well, I don't know. Bremen was in the war versus Poland, I think. And uh, this was a war versus uh, Riga and Bremen. No, Riga and Hamburg, sorry. And why did I do that war? Yeah, well, I didn't. I wanted to annex Riga, duh, but they also had like 2,000 ducats I could take, and I did, 1351. 1351 ducats, and uh, I repaid all my loans with that. We had like, I don't know, 2,500 debts after the war with Muscovy from the last stream, and we just uh, full annexed Riga, and nobody cared. Nobody cared at all. Only two people actually are in coalition range, because yeah, Muscovy is gone. Muscovy was gone, and now it's fifth, almost close to 1600 already. Uh, and this is the peace deal with Poland. So I took Warsaw uh, and some land around Crimea. Nobody cared, and the, the Ottomans already wanted it. The, the Ottomans had already broken the alliance, so I said, yeah, sure, that's sturdy development right here, and I just took it. And Warsaw and uh, whatever. Poland actually got converted to Orthodox. Why did I do that? To make sure they wouldn't get any allies. Just to eat them and annex them later on. 
But I think the Ottomans actually guaranteed them later on, so uh, they still exist. They still exist. I'll take a look at this one. <laughs> I never even looked what my allies were doing in, uh, in Great Britain. So th Great Britain attacked me in a succession war. And lo and behold, the Ottomans actually landed with like 100k troops in, uh, in England. In Great Britain, I was like, uh, yeah, okay, I, I swear to God, I hadn't noticed it. Just in time when I, I was thinking, oh yeah, everybody is low on war enthusiasm. Let's, I, I, I realized, damn, they occupied London. And they were at 21%. And I was like, yeah, okay. Okay, and uh, because I occupied London, I could ask whatever I wanted. So, you gotta picture this, I didn't do anything in this war. Not a thing. I didn't lift my finger, I didn't even look at it. And uh, the Ottomans did all the work. I gave uh, France over here one province, I think it was Vermont, in uh, colonial nations, and they didn't lose trust. And all the rest, yeah, well, they didn't have vital territory. They, they didn't have vital territory in England, so they didn't care if I took anything from the succession war. And France got pleased with one lousy province, Vermont. Well, excuse me if you're from Vermont. But, yeah, they took one province and they accepted that. Probably guess already what I'm gonna do here. I released uh, Scotland and gave them all, all the land. Like this. Scotland starts with uh, administrative ideas. And, uh... I give them this. Why did I spread them down here? Because uh, I took two forts from Great Britain. The fort in Lodian and the fort in Marches. And they only got London apart from that. So if I would do a follow-up war and if I engage their army in London and rout it, they cannot run to Ireland because the forts here are in the way. You cannot do it. Anyhow, it was just speed firing, speed firing, and more speed firing. I really played uh, really fast here. So Scotland was our new subject. Teutonic Order was still integrating, but they got close to 50% liberty desire. I had to spend all my prestige and some military power to, uh, to actually keep him happy. The Ottomans got Janissary Decadence. I don't know if the uh, actually uh, if the event actually triggered. I mean, if it finished, if, if they lost all the bonuses, but I think so. I think we had an Ottoman, uh, a new Ottoman ruler already, and I didn't see the event option in the Ottomans to choose the Janissary reward or to betray them. So the Ottomans are lost the Janissaries. So yeah, money's worth, yeah, damn, looking really good. And I swear I didn't do anything to trigger that Muscovy war. The ruler, the succession war, I said it uh, in last stream, it was possible that Muscovy would fall in a union under me if they died airless, but their king was airless and like 28 years old. I never looked at it. I was like, yeah, surely he'll get an heir and then kabam. Oh well, but in the end I got Scotland out of it. And... uh Lo and behold, I was casually speed fiving, I swear to God, and all of all, all of a sudden, uh, bam, this, what I think happened, I, I didn't even see that Pomerania got airless, I didn't see that they got a really old king, and I, what, what I think happened is that the, uh, I didn't see an air dead event, I think his air died of natural causes, and like the day after, so to speak, uh, it triggered the succession war, and whoever was rigged to attack me denied the pop-up to actually start succession war and come back. So <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I swear to God, I, I, I was just speed fiving, doing nothing, and all of a sudden, BAM! Yeah, personal union magnet? I don't, yep. don't ask me! I, I wasn't doing, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. And then, yeah, Tom will laugh now. Yeah, lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, our air... Actually, I think uh, it was a female on the throne. And she had uh, an air that was almost as old as her. And I think this female, she was like a 405. Uh, was like 60 years old. 60 years. And then my air all of a sudden died. 
in a siege because he was crappy. I made him a general, I think. And uh, the heir died, and uh, I, I almost instantly got a new one. And a prince consort, a new prince consort. How uh, a lady of 60 years old can actually get an heir if she marries a prince? Yeah, well, I don't know, but uh, it just happened. Bam, speed fiving, and bam. And uh, this event, and uh, a 545 heir. I was like, yeah, okay. I think I actually speed, speed 5 up to 1610 or something. Yeah, meanwhile, Muscovy made some claims and I just went for them. Oh yeah, I'm in a great power territory now. Ha! Huh, I might be the first, I might be the, the biggest one because uh, half of the personal union subject development gets added to yours when uh, calculating uh, when calculating uh, person when calculating greater power status. I just went for some claims from Muscovy. Why? Because it would increase trust if I gave it to them. It went from 5 trust to maybe 10. So I would need to give them loads more claims if I ever want to integrate them. But that's a trouble for later. As said before, you only need positive uh, opinion now to keep the union going. It doesn't matter if they are 100% liberty desire. The union will continue. The only thing you gotta be watchful of is uh, pretenders in... Uh, Pretenders or revolutionaries or stuff like that, or losing uh, or going negative opinion with your own personal union subject and whatnot, then they can actually break away. Muscovy doesn't seem to be using Siberian Frontier much. I don't know. No, I I honestly haven't looked into how it works, Siberian Frontier, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, Oh, but don't you need to be Russia for that? I think Siberian Frontier is only something for Russia, right? I'm not sure, Tom. Look it up. Anyhow, I just went for them. Murdered them. They had horrible tech and I was, yeah, kebam. 20 war score from scratch. And also Kazakh, bam, wiped off the map. And I just fed it all. I just fed it all to Muscovy to farm some uh, hard needed prestige ah uh, trust so you got a picture you can see it here i only own this inside muscovy and then kabam they fell in a union so yeah i swear i swear to god i was tempted to burn that succession war i was tempted to do it but i said yeah, no <laughs> i don't do it so i just roll with it this muscovy i really hope nobody will support their independence in the future or that uh I don't know, the Ottomans uh, actually get an administrator, don't flag Russia as vital interest and support God knows what, but it actually uh, worked out so far. And then uh, after taking England, we just sat on the icon of St. Nicholas to let our uh, aggressive expansion tick away. And no time, you cannot seize provinces from personal union subjects. You cannot seize problem, uh, provinces for personal union. That only works for uh, vassals. Not for personal union subjects. Um, we saw that Great Britain was in a war with uh, Sweden. Great Britain was in a war with Sweden. And they... Uh, I only saw like 41k troops in London. And that was likely all they had over here. So I was planning... Yeah, my troops will run out soon. Let's invade them again. I made uh, Britain a rival and I started planning for that. Teutonic Order was close to being to integrate. They were close to 50% uh, liberty desire, but I managed to keep them happy. And uh, it's 1611 now and they integrated. Kabam! Integrating Teutonic Order. And uh, that was it basically. After that I just added it all to the estates. Like you should. It's all 60%, and I will lose the lower autonomy option as soon as as it uh, fills up again. I also scooped. Yeah, in the Swedish war, where are the troops from Britain? In Denmark, there was like 17k with a, with a two-star general black flag. Ever since uh, we peaced out from the succession war, they didn't move them. Don't ask. Stupid AI, I guess. But I saw that 34k from uh, Great Britain was actually seeding up uh, 
Bundesland or whatever it's called in uh, Sweden near Ellsborg. And I said, yeah, sure. If they if they got 34 here and 40k on their capital, that was only like 20k I didn't see. So I saw this, I saw that, and I saw 40k in their capital. I was only missing like 20 or 30k, and I said, yeah, let's risk this. So I did it. I invaded Britain again. I placed my troops here. They only had like 38 now, and I just went for them. I made Netherlands go belligerent, and I called in. Uh, I called in France on promise of land because um, the Papal States is actually uh, they had a claim on it, and AI will always accept claims in promised land, even it, if it's a diplomat or a colonialist or any ruler personality. As long as they got a claim, they will accept it. <laughs> so I just went for it and bum rushed to Lon bum rushed London. Those uh, wait a moment. Those 19k you see here, they spread all the way over England. Why is that important? I, as I mentioned in a couple of streams ago, and as I mentioned uh, a lot of before, an enemy cannot route to a province that neighbors one of your units. It just doesn't work. That's not an exploit. It's how the uh, routing mechanic was designed. So I placed one case on all the provinces I could reach over here. I did reconquest uh, over Suttle and sent one there. And they would only be able to run to uh, Kent. That was I was assuming, because Kent I cannot reach. So we did it. We surprised them in London. And we had almost, they ha didn't have any military idea groups apart from quantity. And I didn't have also. So well, I just, uh, this 45k stack had like 8k cavalry, uh, maybe 15k uh, cannons. And uh, we defeated them. Yeah, here you can see it. Uh, 8k cavalry and 13 uh, cannons. And instead, AI being stupid, instead of running to Kent where I couldn't uh, reach them, they were stupid enough to actually route to Essex before I could arrive there. Don't ask stupid AI. So I could actually walk from London back into Oxfordshire, from Oxfordshire into Essex and before they could react, I was on, on them again, routed them in Essex, and BAM! Great Britain wiped in London. And everything seized up, and only Kent I couldn't reach. Only Kent I couldn't reach, and from there it was pretty easy. I had no clue where the 30k stack from, uh, that, was, uh, that, was, that I was still missing on the map was. But I found it! They seem to be waiting for transport in Ireland, and they didn't se didn't seem to move after the start of the war. Yeah, well, don't ask. I just killed them. I was running around with like 60k troops now after integrating Teutonic Order, so we managed to wipe them. They got routed here and wiped there, as you can see here. And that's it. That's it. Let's go in game and uh, continue this. Uh. OBS. Bam. I'll switch it out to in-game now. Yep. Seems to work. Everything looking okay. Uh, yeah, some people said my microphone has issues, but I don't know. I used to have like this fish tank effect, but I managed to get rid of that, I think. But now people say, yeah, it's a bit too pitched. Um, oh, well. Give me a moment to configure my chats. Okay, there we go. So, the war with uh, Great Britain is actually this. The Papal State is involved and the Papal State annexed Provence. Well, the southern provinces of Provence, at least. Great Britain is uh, involved, of course. Because, and the Netherlands are also. And East Frisia and stuff. I'm actually sieging the capital of Holland already. Or the Netherlands, whatever. I thought it was Holland, but the Netherlands formed, they got independent, they lost the independence war. And after that, they all joined. Seen it happen before. But yeah. They are murdering my ally though. And I think 
Austria also declared on uh, yeah so yeah Austria also declared reconquest on uh, the Netherlands uh let's speed it down a little let's get my I don't know what I was gonna do uh yeah I was thinking about invading Sweden after this not my channel for certain and I also had prepped a peace deal I had also yeah do I really wanna I I, I totally forgot it again but I should give my well do I transferring the forts to your vassal usually makes them horrible in depth so I think uh, I will uh, keep the forts for myself uh, what was I gonna do I was gonna do something yeah check if the Netherlands won out or not no, still high war enthusiasm. The problem is, they are blocking me here. I ship troops off from Kent into uh, Calais, Kent into Calais. I managed to do it twice before they actually blockaded me here. And I'm just uh, looting London. And Yad, Scotland, could you piss off? They are getting some loot. I don't want that. Um, Scotland, piss off my loot. Uh, yeah, piss off. Bye. Yeah, the English are. The thing is, I could ask access from uh, some guys. Denmark is in this war also. Yeah, that was I. Yeah, now I remember that I was gonna check exactly that. I need. I could ditch the axis with. Uh, I was gonna do exactly that. I was gonna ditch the axis of Netherlands with us. I was gonna kill my axis with Austria. Seven percent on the uh, Netherlands capital already. I... well... Austria is actually friendly towards me, really? I'm allied to three of their li or three or four of their rivals, yeah, three of their rivals and they are still friendly to me? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, I cannot access it. We cannot cancel while our allies have forces inside their borders. Oh, here, okay. So, next day I can probably do it. Yep. Bam! So I hope they are trapped now. I think they are trapped now here. Because, uh. Oh no, they aren't. I thought there was a fort here. It seems there isn't. So they actually can just walk back. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, if they are happy seizing stuff up. Okay. This is uh, what I actually made uh, Prussian and Lithuanian uh, an accepted culture already. I don't know about the Polish guys. Well, I think I am. I think they cancelled uh, the Ottomans, so they they are minus one hundred forty now. But yeah, the Ottomans actually rivaled me in... Oh, they didn't? <laughs> was it then that rivaled me? Man, it, yeah, it's been a... I haven't played this today, so I gotta get my bear... And, oh yeah, good. Great Britain rivaled me back. Okay, that was it. But what was I gonna check? Yeah, the Ottomans, they warned me. How long does that warning last? No! It ran out! So I can actually... I can actually engage the Poles again. When the truce runs out and nobody will care. Nope, nobody will care. So I should make another claim on... Uh, oh, I... Yeah, this was I, what I was gonna check. If I still got a claim on Poland. If not, I would have had to make... Uh, 
Acclaim and a Spy Network on Poland. That was what I couldn't forget. So, 17 developments, and this is actually in a state of mind. Yeah, well... I'll do it. Why not? They're Poles. Happy. Come on in. So we got Prussian, Lithuanian and Polish. If I manage to defeat the Ottomans late game, how far does this Polish and Polish is over here, but yeah, that is mostly inside my allies and Lithuanian is here and I completely own the Lithuanian culture. Okay. Um now get some access for Denmark. So Brunswick, let's see. I'm pretty sure they got access to Brabant. No. Um, let's take a look here. So the Netherlands. Uh, I just need Brunswick and Brabant. Brunswick and Brabant and the Netherlands and, and these guys can actually come and help out. Is that worth going over the diplomat? Yeah, but I'm a bit afraid. Can anybody in the chat? I was wondering about that. Asking military access no longer puts you uh, no, no asking access no longer gives you a diplomatic relations slot, does it? I don't think so. So let's just try it. I could call in the emperor also. Shouldn't you be spending prestige to lower Muscovy liberty desire? I said before, Muscovy is a personal union subject. You cannot do it with personal union subjects. You can only support loyalists for twenty percent. For twenty percent, but they got like uh, they got like. Let's see, they still have plus one hundred and thirty-seven uh, relative power. So in total, yeah, it won't happen. They got like ah, uh, let's see, two hundred or three hundred liberty desire. So uh, I think I will have to expand just a tad little bit more before I can actually make them loyal. But nobody supports their independence. Why? Um, as said before, if a nation actually owns a core, I think the Ottomans own a core from uh, own a core from Muscovy, and then they can never support their independence. I think. But also, if they flag it as vital territory, they won't support their independence. The Ottomans aren't interested in allying Muscovy in an independence war versus me. They are interested in eating him directly. Same for Sweden. Sweden also flags stuff as vital interest for... Uh... So Sweden will also not support independence. Only Great Britain might. Yeah, I'm killing them. And who else was my rival? Sweden. Yeah, so only Great Britain might, in fact. Oh well, let's try this out. So this is a straight. I'll try it out. So does that still take... Yeah, it does take uh, a Diplo slot still. I'm gonna try it. If Denmark doesn't move, then they don't move, I don't care. So I'm con I'm converting all the Prussian land, and I think this one had religious seals still, 1639. Yeah, 1629. Oh, I can actually do this one now. Great. See if Muscovy is improving with anybody. Yeah, that's a good point. I've been checking on it, but uh, no, I haven't seen them do it. I haven't seen them improve with anybody. So as you can see, Muscovy is a junior partner of Rostov. Muscovy uh, Liberty Desire is 100%, but in reality 200 or even 300%. And in 1641 I would be able to, in, uh, to start an integration, but yeah. The, uh, as you can see, requirements for continued union, Muscovy opinion of Rostov is positive. So, uh, 
The personal union with Brustov continues because I got 188 opinion with him. Wouldn't it just be easier to use religion menu to convert the provinces? Yeah, Anna Pace, what I'm doing is I convert them by culture. I got this culture and religious uh, button and I just click on a culture. Let's say you got five or six missionaries as a Catholic. It's always best to focus on one culture and convert it all with six. Why? Because then the rebels from this culture actually won't have the time to uh, take to 100%. So usually if you got a load, it, it also works with 2% and uh, 2 missionaries by the way. If you got high enough missionary strength. If you focus on one culture, they usually won't reach 100% before uh, you finish with said culture. So yeah, it will be easier this way, but if you just do it like this and uh, do them at, at the shortest. And if you use six uh, missionaries at once, it's possible that you will send them to six different culture and six different rebel types will start ticking. If you do it my way, only one rebel type will start ticking. Catholic Zalats and, well, two will start ticking. Catholic Zalats in the provinces you are converting and uh, Prussian separatists in, uh, in all the provinces that I'm not converting. And trust me, it's a great way. It's micromanaging heavy, but yeah, I don't care. I'm the manager of micro, so to speak. But it prevents tons of rebels this way, if you haven't got humanism. Yeah, Tom, that's indeed correct. Just need positive... You just need positive opinion now. You just need positive opinion. It says so right there. Uh, where was this again? This pop-up. Yep, the personal union with Rostov continues. Um, there was a pop-up for that. But yeah, I, you, I think the uh, they got rid of minus... It used to be so that negative prestige would also break the union, but they got rid of that. So all you need now is positive opinion and they can never break away. Yeah, well, it seems like they uh, don't want to kill their capital. Well, is this really worth it? Should I really try for this? I think uh, Denmark won't budge. Oh yeah, shoot. Brabant is my rival. So yeah, I would have to ask him and him and him. Ah, well, I don't need it. I don't need it. One, once I seed this up, I can go here and uh, Netherlands can do whatever. I would need to ask, let's see. One, two, th nah. Or I, should, or I could call in uh, Saxony, but I don't want to spend my favors on it. <sighs> ah, come on. Peasants in London. Ah, shit. Yeah, thanks for wiping my manpower and thanks for, uh, uh, wait. I shouldn't have placed them on the fort. I shouldn't have placed them on the fort. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm not allowed. I'll win it. It's, uh... <sighs> crying out loud. If my... I really hope my cannons won't get damaged, but yeah, they are, they are actually losing it. Uh, I should have routed when I could. Thanks a lot, game. Why doesn't it show... Does it actually show rebel types that are rigged to spawn in occupied terrain? I really hate those peasants. Do they? Can you actually see that? Or here? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't see uh, English peasants over there. <sighs> well, we had manpower once. <sighs> I'm tempted to just consolidate them and uh, ask for some Streltsy. And I'll do exactly that. So, happy Russian ability. 
This one is pretty close, but I can actually raise uh, 11 Streltsy units in my capital. Bam! So nobody will... Uh, three units. This third Rome DLC makes Muscovy seriously overpowered. I'm playing as a vassal of Muscovy, but still... These charge my laser and uh, stuff is so powerful. It's just charge my laser and fire, and and it, re uh, it recharges pretty fast. Oh well. I'm gonna have to uh, end the war with Britain before the peasants actually take it over. Oh, where did the fleet go? Oh well, if you are. Uh, if that's the case, I can actually use these guys and, uh... Oh, there's the fleet from England. Hi, fleet. So where were you, were you riding to? To Lodian, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I should get the fleet, I should get the capital of the, of the Netherlands before, uh... Hmm. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's the... Oh. I think I'll keep him here, in all honesty. Oh yeah, so... T t Ottomans actually broke... Uh, al dishonored their alliance with uh, Tanis. Because of uh, depth, I think. I'm gonna take a quick check if the Ottomans are still horribly in depth. They got like quarter of a million army already. Ottomans, tell me about... Oh, oops, wrong one. Ottomans. Yeah, still six loans, and they actually dishonored their alliance with Tunis, and Tunis likely got attacked by Tlemkin. Yeah, because they own Tunis now. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe uh, the Ottomans, if they get an administrator, they might. Ah, oh, come on, walls breach on London. You gotta be kidding me. Oh well, I could peace out. I could, I could start looking at a peace deal right now. Surely I'll get the capital of the Netherlands before, before I will get. They will take London, right? They were way over the force limit. Oh, really, the Ottomans? That's so. Didn't quite see that. No, they're not. This is very hard, money's word, and the Ottomans tend to take one of the uh, offensive. So the Ottomans almost have a co half a million, uh, half a million force limit, and they are only running around with a quarter, uh, quarter million. This is very hard. They get, they get crazy bonuses. I don't like this at all. Thirty-two days. What is it here? Thirty-nine days. I should be able to get it. If I got access to line. We have been won by the other so we cannot kill Poland. Come on, give me Holland before they get a fort. Come on. Well, it's Ghent. Ghent, Ghent is a... Picture this, Tom. Ghent is the capital of the... I'm half wondering, is it is it a Flemish Netherlands? An AI Flemish Netherlands? What's their main culture? How can you see that again? Main culture from... Uh, where does it show? Yeah, if they're... Ca Could it be that Flanders actually formed the Netherlands? Come on, 7% on London. This is getting ridiculous. The Flemish Netherlands is... Uh, Flemish... Ne Why not? You did it, Tom. What I could do is just let them take London and capture it again. But I should be looking at the peace deal now. I think uh, all the claims from... Uh, these are the claims from uh, Scotland. And this is a reconquest war, so you can actually ask for... Uh, 
aforementioned claims and take less aggressive expansion because uh, giving claims to the nation, to the vassal you are reconquesting for, actually gives less aggressive expansion also, I think. I could end it right now and just ask for this. But I gotta give uh, France... Is there any... I think they will accept this. Yeah. So, you gotta picture this. France does not want this, but if I give them Draguignan, then they want it. But would they accept something in the colonies, I wonder? France does not want it, does not want it, does not want it, does not want it. Nope, 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 nope. Peach tree? Because France does not want it. Peach tree? Where the hell is peach tree? Nope. I, I see a little bit of the colonial nations over here. And if and I think France actually uh, flagged this as vital interest, but if France doesn't occupy it, I actually have to give them this one. It's 10 development, they can have it. But I, I think, yeah. At least take the core back. Yeah, no, I would lose reconquest. I would lose reconquest. I'm pretty sure that uh, if you go with a uh, reconquest of Sutherland, that it also is less aggressive expansion for claims you give to uh, to uh, to Scotland. Well, we can test that out. It's now 45, 45 aggressive expansion. I'm gonna try this out. Uh, If not, I will. Uh, I might consider taking it for myself and granting it. So let's see if anything changes aggressive expansion-wise. Bam, 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 bam. No, it's the same. It's the same. Did I see that one? Is that is that less? What is that less war score compared? Huh. Did I see that one? Wasn't that less, uh, wasn't that more war score when I gave it to Scotland? Hmm. Yeah, even I learn new stuff sometimes. Could that be true that it costs actually more? Yeah, it does. 73 war score now. If I give it to Scotland directly, and if I... Oh yeah, sure, because Great Britain is my rival. What am I even thinking? You take more from rivals, but you gotta ask it for yourself. Silly me. Okay. So... Yeah, well, then I don't... I could give the claims. This is all claims from. Uh, oh well, they're close. Should I go for uh, the peasants? I could ship them, but Great Britain is still in the way here and blockading me. Come on, sixteen days. How long is it here? Twenty-one days. I would need serious loads of uh, loads of troops to kill those peasants. Uh, how much is that? Twenty-six. I could kill them. Take the fort back, or peace out for less. I'm I'm here. Thirty-five percent. Ah, uh, this, this is the situation of me being greedy again. I could peace out right now. Don't want to. I could get more. I'm pretty sure that peace deal that I uh, just asked for doesn't piss off anybody. Nope, it doesn't. Hmm. I don't know. And I totally forgot to assign a new... Uh, religious zeal, religious zeal. Oh well, 
What culture were we busy on? Prussian. Okay. Wasn't I busy on Lithuanian also? Yeah, I was busy on Lithuanian, so let's continue with Lithuanian. You will beat the rebels to siege. I don't know, man. Knowing my luck, they'll get it at this tick. There's still a good, uh... There's still a good, uh, garrison in here. I could make more troops here. I shouldn't have consolidated them. Now I see that. Oh, well, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. What's the odds of them getting it? Yeah, well, one out of seven or something that they get it now. Watch them get it. <laughs> no, defend this desert. Thank God, Ghent is done. So... Even though they are... Uh, even though they are uh, co-belligerent... I cannot make him a vassal, I cannot take anything. I could ask for trade power, but it's simply not worth it. I can do pretty much a 50% peace deal with this. Um, like war reparations? How much gold do they have? 1653 and I will get 299. 299 ducats. Uh, sure. I could give... Yeah, this is actually not that bad. But no. I need a war score for myself. And it's seventh. I could make Austria really happy. I'm considering giving them a core back. Why? Because if I attack Sweden next, they're already maxed out improved relations. They might be in coalition range, but is that worth 70 diplo points? I doubt it. I doubt it. And asking for Holland just... Uh, I don't know. Eh, no. I... No. HRE land. No, I just won't do it. I could grant it. I could grant it to Scotland maybe? No, I can't. HRE... Isn't it so that the HRE Emperor, even if you're allied to them, now, call, now uh, also does, uh, what's it called? Return provinces in the HRE, what's it called again? I think he does it for allies also now, so I won't be asking for land directly. I could take this and release another vassal, but I won't. I'll just separate piece the mounts. And, uh, and I'll... Oh yeah, they had dishonored the alliance with uh, Great Britain already when uh, Austria invaded. No, uh, Great Britain dishonored the alliance with Netherlands when Austria invaded that. This isn't worth it. Uh, I don't know. I would black flag myself here. I should probably run. Level 4. Does Arken even have enough? No, they don't have enough to siege the fort. So if I peace out the Netherlands right now. Hmm. Where are these small HRE nations? Here, I suppose, these Frisia and Aachen. Okay. I could risk it and just run to Aachen. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look if... Uh... Yeah, well, is that worth it? Yeah, but money's worth... The uh, prestige will get shared with all my allies. If you, uh, if you end rivalries while calling allies into your world, the prestige gets shared. Frisia. Well, I'm gonna check if they got loads of dash on that. East Frisia. Four and Aachen, how much do you have? Nah, they don't have a lot of money. I'm pretty sure I can just leave it as is. I don't want the Netherlands to get this fort. I would get black flagged over here. 
and I would be able to lose the black flag status over here and I could probably if I ask yeah I think I could reach them East Frieza. so I'll just black flag myself on the Netherlands just get them out I won't take that land it's simply not worth it is there anything else apart from giving stuff I still not sure this would keep uh, Austria out of uh, a coalition. Uh, I don't know. 70 points. I'm going to take a short water break check. Is this worth it for coal? If I go and invade Sweden next, is it worth it 70 points to please Austria and get them out of coal? Nah, I don't think so. Be right back. Money's words. As I said before, still not worth the points. Yeah, okay. I'll just take this then. Uh, well, I could ask for more. Like this. Give up the claims in France so the Netherlands don't get ideas of invading my ally. Yeah, I could do that. Enforced religion won't work. They're too big for it. I could release nations, but that is definitely not worth the points. It would lower my aggressive expansion inside the HRE, though. But, nah. Is Nevers actually in the HRE? No, they're not. And who are they allied to? And the parents guaranteed by the Netherlands. So, if I would, uh... And null that guarantee. My ally could go for Nevers and uh, get it back. 16-18, yeah, then France can actually get it back. And a, st a more powerful ally is always good, right? So, uh... Ah! Yeah. And that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that... The that the uh, yeah see Rostov will gain 4.5 and now it's 2.2 it gets shared but it's not worth it I think I'll do this war operations all their gold and all the guarantee yeah sure And these guys got black flagged, and now I could I couldn't lose my black flag status here and engage Aachen, get them out also. Hmm. East Freezer is actually over there. Six. Uh, what what did they got here? Ten k. Yeah, I I could actually go. Here. Can I lose black flag status in my allies? And it's been a while since I even tried that. I don't think so. Oh, it's worth a shot. How is Arkham, by the way? Ah, oh, they're still on high. No, you can't. I think, pretty sure you cannot lose uh, black flag status in allies. So, let's go here, I guess. Is there anybody else who actually got a tax? Yeah, Poland. I could threaten war on Poland, but I don't think it'll work. I, I actually managed to threaten war earlier on. What I could check is if... Uh, 
If Poland once again, if uh, the Ottomans actually honor their uh, guarantee, the warning, they might, they might not. Okay, now we need. Persia has an answer, Rasta. Yeah, okay. Watch them take the fort at 21. Uh, I should have recalled that guy from uh, the, the spy network. <sighs> they didn't. Thank God. Okay, I'm pretty sure. We can take whatever the heck we want now. Yeah, probably this and then some. Mm. I don't really want to give them their core back. Reconquest is always nice. Otherwise, I would have I would have to declare conquest war with uh, the claims from uh, Scotland. But I don't want to rely on that. I think I will keep Sutherland is only like 10 development, right? Yeah, 6, so... They won't cry if they uh, don't get their core, their, their core back. What I could go for is actually uh, get London, but... Nah, I don't have the war score for that. And I will probably get a huge... Well, no! I don't get a coalition if I take London. Oh, really now? Brabant minus 56, okay. So, I should probably take London then. But that would mean... Yeah, I could do exactly this and feed it to Scotland. Or core uh, London for my own. Hmm. Ising, did, did the Scottish accept the culture? Yep, they did. I'm half tempted to just grant it. Well, I will have to grant it because I cannot transfer it to, uh... Is there anything I'm overlooking here? So, France... Wait a moment. I'm gonna check it one more time if uh, France accepts any anything colonial. They didn't occupy anything in the colonial. No, France does not want it. It, it would have been not great if this this worked for Vermont, by the way. But no, I will have to give them uh, Draguignan, and they get four favors from that. Okay, four favors. How much do they have now? Nine. So I would be able to call them in versus, uh, well, call them in. <laughs> I think France, all the troops from France are actually in the colonial nations again. Yep, they are. They are. Because I cannot G jack shit here. I could be greedy and press on, but then I would have to resiege London. I don't want to do it. I think I'll end it here. I could probably, uh, I could probably do what? No. Ah, it's close though. Four operations. Can I ask for another province, a really tiny one? Like, uh, I don't know, something with a fort. No, cannot do it either. So Oxfordshire, how much development is that? 14, can I give this? No, that's even more. Yeah, I think I will give this to, uh, this will cripple uh, Great Britain even more if I take London. Can I take anything else? Anything whatsoever? Gwynet. Oh, I can take Gwynet. <laughs> yeah, sure, and I'll feed it to, uh, half. Who knows, maybe Scotland will make the Welsh uh, an accepted culture also, and then I can feed it all. So yeah, sure, I'll feed... Oh, do I get some more money? But I... I think... Yeah, 89 ducats. How much development is Gwynet? Five? Yeah, I'll take the ducats. I'll take the ducats then. 98 ducats is better than nothing, and my ally will actually uh, get most of the ducats. France, I think. Okay, any reason, anything else I'm forgetting here? Not really. How much power possession will that give me? Uh, where did 
does it say? 7 power projection for London. And nobody will join the coalition, not even someone in the HOE, which is great. So yeah, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. 67% peace deal, that, that's not waiting. Nah, for 100%. Any reason to stall this war? I don't see any. It will cost me 139 Diplo points though. Oh well, I'll do it. Yeah, bam. Change their capital to Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire? Where is that again? Here, right? No. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Ah, uh, peasants, don't tell me you will stay there. Yeah, piss off. Thanks a lot. So, I could actually call London for myself, but... Uh, I don't know. It would be a really nice state if I, in a follow-up war, managed to take it. That's 70 development right there. I'm half tempted to do it and just grant uh, Oxfordshire to Scotland. And call London for myself. But the, the issue with that is the rebels. I would have to kill the English rebels. But if I keep the fort... Hmm... Yeah. I don't think I'll grant them up. Oh, well, I'll, I'll leave it to chat. Should I take London for myself or grant it to Scotland? I don't want to make Scotland too powerful. Because Pomerania and Scotland combined, I don't trust that. I should take London for myself, I think. I can defeat the rebels, I can just leave my troops here. Yeah, why not? How much was it? 170. Oh god, the corruption is driving it up. I got like 40 corruption as usual. Plan is to pay it off before 1710 or so. I really should take London for myself. It's 41 development. 41? That's, that's nice to state up. I think I will start a core here and, and just start coring uh, Great Britain for myself. So what is exactly this? Uh, Mercia is here and there. I could core it all. I could core it all, but Poland actually has a... Has a I got administrative ideas, so I'm half tempted to just say, screw you, uh, Scotland. Seven. I could actually core the both of them. And it, this fort will actually protect. Yeah, I think I'll do it. I'll just core it for myself. So there. And we got one more state, so I will state up London, I think. And granite, granite to the traders. That, that, this is that. Well, this, this has crippled. I have cut uh, Great Britain in like three pieces now. So even if they get their army back, they cannot. Yeah, well, they actually move their capital to a province that is occupied by peasants. Yeah, that is so smart to do. That is so smart AI. That is really smart. I will probably call it before the rebels spawn, and I can use the, uh, what's it called? Take the mission for more diplomatic reputation. How much is it now? 801 to, uh, I don't need to embrace global trade at the moment. So, okay, all in all, pretty good one. And I can actually, uh, dock my boats in London now. And get some more claims while my spy network is really big. Like uh, Essex. Is it worth it to go for Norfolk? No, I don't think so. I should I should make claims on uh, on this one on the capital because it's in. Uh, and what what else was in that state of Mercia? 
I think gloves is the side, right? Ah, uh, come on, AI. Yeah, this one. 15, I'll make a claim here also. Kabam. And then I suppose I should switch out my spy network. Or do I? Plus 70. I'll recall you all now. Next one. Oh yeah, wait a moment. Anyone proficient in trade? I've been contemplating. I own Danzig, I own Mammal, and I own Riga. That's all the trade centers in the Baltic. It sh should be a good idea, I think, to actually place my trade capital here and push from here and here. That even be worth it, putting my trade capital in the Baltic. Now I'm collecting here and pushing here, but I, I get a feeling that could be more. I'm getting uh, 22 ducat income from trade right now. If I would place my trade capital in something like Danzig, it would cost me 277, are you kidding me? But I don't think it's a, it's a good idea. Lubeck will suck it all out. I bet tons of people are pushing towards Lubeck. And uh, if I place my trade capital here, the only more people will place a trade. No, I think how much do I collect here? 6.65. Mm. Oh, no, I, I, maybe after the war with Sweden. But then it, I think it's still not worth it. 30%? Nah. I think uh, pl collecting gear will give me more than pushing here. I think I tested that out. So, all in all, okay. Do I have any other culture I might accept? Uh, Rise and is not worth it. I should leave. Uh, I shouldn't have done the Polish guys. I should have done the. Uh, I should have kept it for English culture. Oh well. Um, so now a war with Sweden might be a good idea. Great Britain no longer sees Castile as a rival. Great Britain has announced Denmark. Okay. Do you have a slot? Yeah, they already uh, see. With a trade building in your center of trade and 20 lights, it would work. Yeah, but I, I won't make lights as long as Sweden is alive. They will just kill my boats during the war. I'm pretty sure they are, they're all marketplaces already here. Yep, marketplace here, marketplace here, marketplace there. You also need zero autonomy. Oh yeah, Tom, but I granted it to the estates. I granted it to the burgers, so I get full trade power. 37 from Memel. Uh, and this is like... Yeah, well, it's not worth... Well, I could give it to the... Uh, I could give it to the burgers for more trade power. But I think I'm, I already get... It will be like, I don't know, three trade power less. Local autonomy further modifies this by minus 10%. So I would go only gain like 10% more if I g give Riga to the uh, to the burgers. They're not worth it. So Sweden, who do you still have as allies? Savoy and Brabant. They were in wars though. Yeah, well, but I could call in... Uh... Oh, Silesia is in debt, you say? Okay, but Denmark... Calling France in versus uh, Sweden. Yeah. I could wait with Sweden and just make a spy. Do I even have a claim on them? What what kind of a CB do I have? Take Viborg and that's it. Hmm. Probably I could just start with a spy network. I still got a little bit left there. 
they might ally uh they might ally Great Britain though. They might ally Great Britain though. I should have declared a war, I think. I watched them do it. Okay, Castile in a war again. France has entered into a treaty of support for independence with the rebellious nation of Hungary. Oh, hi there, rebellious Hungary. Huh. Okay, sure. That makes me wonder if France would attack Austria, would Saxony protect them? This isn't Austria a rival? No, they're not. So Austria would get protected by uh, Saxony. Hmm. That should be 100. Yeah, I'll recall you. Oh, Wurt wait a moment. Wurttemberg 56. Wurttemberg. Is that a big nation? Not really. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. They do have cores on uh, Ulm. Ulm actually expanded. I thought it was Austria, but it's Ulm over here. Ulm not being a one province minor, you don't often see that. But yeah, I, I cannot do reconquest even if I marry them and blah blah, and even if I, I don't want Wurttemberg as a personal union. I don't know. Tough luck. So... I'm gonna take a closer look at Sweden. Thirty-nine income, one hundred and sixty in the treasury. You were at war, but did you uh, loan up for it? Probably. Oh, oops. Wrong one. Uh, we done? Probably not. No. Sweden didn't. They like, they took the, ah no, they didn't take defensive. So if I call in Denmark, the HRE Emperor, and maybe even France, we should have it. France, yeah, well, they only got 20k troops in Europe. Well, 27k. 27k that I can actually see. Hmm. The beautiful part is, as said before, uh, I'm half tempted to get a claim on uh, on Blackinger. Muscovy can hold the border in the in the east. As soon as Sweden sets a foot on Muscovy, they will engage them. So I could place all my troops here, call in Saxony and Denmark and maybe even France and Silesia versus Sweden, and just invade them from here. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So, go here. Uh, where are all my boats? Right there. So, I will need to send four, four to London. And eleven to pick up my other army in Königsberg. Bohemia, okay. So, do I need to do anything else with my diplomats? I'm. I will just make that spy network. Get a claim on Blacking because Viborg, it's a fort, and Sweden will kill me. And I, I will. Yes, I could lead Saxony this way. But 
Yeah, I think the, the AI will be rigged to go here. Denmark owns both sides of the strait, so fleets cannot interrupt. So yeah, I think that plan is a good one. Get a claim here and just uh, invade them from here. And uh, let Muscovy hold the uh, east front. I really hope these troops from uh, Great Britain stay black flagged there forever. And I'm pretty sure I can actually see every possible province from apart from Ireland, from uh, Great Britain now. They're dead. That succession war actually uh, killed Great Britain. Because of the AI it was suicided into all my allies. So I should probably start improving with all the remaining Catholics. Only Catholics will care much if I take land from uh, Sweden. And I already improved with mains. And all the guys over here, most of them are my allies. Denmark is, Pomerania, yeah, so I don't know. Who might be pissed off? Hamburg? Yeah, Hamburg might. It depends on where I take land though. If I take land over here, I don't think even Hamburg will get minus one. Wait. Yeah, well. Netherlands. Yeah. I will start improving with these nations. Hamburg, Brunswick, Bremen, Oldenburg, Brabant. Yeah, Brabant might actually join the coalition. I could flip out. I could flip out Brabant for another rival now. Hmm, and get that. Because they didn't rival me back. I think. No, they didn't. Uh, why am I do considering that? Because for personal union mechanics, if you flag people as your rival, you might get offensive succession war chance. But Brabant, yeah, well, I'm just gonna check if there's anybody better than Brabant I can get. I could get Castile. And Castile is a rival of uh, France, is still a. Yeah. Why didn't. Why didn't Castile form Spain yet? Um. Um. Why do they. Why can I, Why aren't they forming Spain, I wonder? Allied with New Castile? Are they aren't. When did I ally France? Uh, when the League Mechanic fired? Tom? I said that before in last stream. Uh, in the League Mechanic, I just joined the Protestants and. Uh, I got Saxony, Silesia, Pomerania, Denmark. And France as allies from joining the Protestant League. And after I got my alliances, I just said, yeah, bye, Protestant League. And I didn't fight in the war. Because, yeah, you can use that League mechanic, especially on very hard to get some allies. If you join one side of the Leagues, you can do that if you got a European capital. Doesn't matter what religion you are. You can do it as custom Norse nation also, as long as you got a capital in Europe. You can just join the Protestant side and everybody on the, in the, on the Protestant side or the Catholic side, if you join it, they will all go friendly. They will all go friendly. And you can just ally them, even on very hard. I even allied Great Britain. I even allied Great Britain, but then uh, they rivaled France and uh, Great Britain broke alliance with me. And uh, that was actually... Pretty good. Why did uh, Great Britain attack me in succession war? Because Muscovy had actually flagged Great Britain as a rival. And that enabled Great Britain to contest, to contest the Union. I still cannot believe I got a Union over Muscovy with a succession war. It was a king, a, a king of not even 30 years old dying, airless. Bam, Union. Bam, succession war. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thanks, RNGesus. Because they will stay uh, disloyal forever. <sighs> so what should I use my diplomat on? Improve uh, with Austria maybe, but they're already... 
Yeah, Sweden got it. Let's see. Yeah, but as long as they flag stuff of Muscovy as Vatlingus, they won't support. I think. If they support, I will just kick their ass. Savoy is allied with Sweden. I no 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 no. I wanted to declare on Sweden, you noble nut. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, so much for the war against Sweden. And I cannot declare on Sweden while having a pending call to arms. Yeah, thanks AI. Thanks a lot. Thanks a bloody lot. Yeah, I cannot dishonor the alliance with France. So, what did France get themselves into? Savoy is not in DHRE, are they? No, they're not. So Savoy won't be uh, involved. So, yeah, Sweden. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight Sweden here. Oh, Bremen uh, is an ally. Yeah, I could, I could uh, go for Bremen then and farm some. Uh... Yeah, sure then. Yeah, that that is pretty smart, Alex. That is so smart. Accepting a call to arms when your fleet is near the enemy. Won't the Ottomans intervene? Why Why would they? It's not a... Uh... Oh yeah, you got a point. It's two greater powers versus one now. No, uh, wait a moment. Is Sweden even a greater power? No, Sweden is not a greater power, so they won't intervene. They won't intervene. It's two versus zero, and intervention can only happen if it's two versus one, or three versus two, or four versus three, but if it's two versus zero, nobody can intervene. So, Bremen... Can I actually reach Bremen? Oh, there... Who is on Bremen? Did they even join the war? No, they didn't. Oh well, uh, so we are at war with Sweden. I should have started the war myself. Damn. So... Denmark won't give Sweden access. Not in a million years, they're rivals. So, I could just let Sweden... Uh, yeah, but just in case I'm gonna pay for my fort here, on my capital. If, in case uh, Muscovy doesn't get the Swedes. Do I use my UN troops to go for... Uh, I don't want to... I don't really... I really don't want to go there. They will curb stomp me, the Swedes. With their uh, infantry combat ability and blah blah blah. Yeah, discipline... Discipline, infantry combat ability, blah blah blah. Shoot. Oh well, I could still start my own wars. The problem is that I... That I don't have people here to actually repel the, uh, the rebels from England. I could make more over here, mind you, but... Uh... I could try and run myself out, but can I even escape? No, of course not. Is it even possible to reach anything in my... Is it even possible to reach France easily? No, it's not. Oh, well, if I see Sweden over here with all their army, I will start a siege here. So... Oh yeah, wait a moment. Because I ask access from Denmark, won't Sweden get it? Yeah, they got conditional military access through... Uh, I should probably revoke my access with Denmark, then, or they will just stroll in here, which I don't want. So... Cancel that access. It's lucky that I think of that, otherwise the moment they would have set foot on it, I wouldn't be, have been able to uh, cancel it. 
Okay, you're on move, Sweden. And I should probably enable all my forts here in case they do uh, a naval landing. Yeah, and Korea is, is at it again, folks. So yeah, let's take a quick let's take a quick tour of the world, shall we? Europe, all in all, is not looking that weird. Big Milan, though. I've been wondering, would it would I be able to marry Milan if uh, Milan government form? No, they are still Ambrosian Republic. Okay, Hungary is a union subject of Austria, but they got support from Sweden, so uh, Austria will never go strong and not never integrate Hungary. We ate Great Britain alive, released in Scotland, Spain. For some reason, can anybody tell me why they aren't forming? I don't get it. They aren't even integrating them. They got the provinces to, to do it, but I might it might be because they are allied with New Castile. Or it might also be that uh, I just don't know why Spain didn't form. Oh well. Then uh, big Morocco. Morocco actually owns land. Morocco actually that is pretty weird. Morocco owns Lisboa. If they would invade Castile, which is in all honesty not impossible, they could would be able to form Andalusia now. Because they own Algarve and Becha and uh, then they only need Sevilla and this area and they would get it. They would we might see uh, AI Andalusia. Big Mali, huge Ottomans. Just enormous. Yeah, this isn't Ottomans by the way. It may look the same color, but Malin Malindi and the Ottomans actually, I don't see the difference. I'm colorblind in green. I don't see the difference, but I this looks a little bit darker over here. Why? Oh, yeah, but wait a moment. Yeah, this is Ottomans, as I thought. Hmm. Oh well. Big Persia. Persia has no allies whatsoever. And they aren't guaranteed by anybody. I should inv I should consider invading Persia and feeding it all to Muscovy. Multan actually survived. A big Bahmanis. And we got a rare nation on the map, folks. Rohil Khand. I've never seen them. I've never seen them on the map. But here they are. Rohil Khand. They can spawn with cores over here and here in the Himalayas. I think. Ah, here also. Yeah, but I think they... Is it by event this nation, Rahul Khan, that they spawn? I think so. They can spawn in Nepali culture. That much I know. Never seen them on the map before. Bastar still alive, Balkana still alive, Golconda, a big Bengal. And Nagaur. Yeah, Nagaur is actually surviving and thriving. An ally to Bengal. Okay. Big Nagawa. Nice. Arakan is actually uh, border gore galore. Arakan, he probably owned all this before and then Bengal likely took it from them. Yeah. Arakan was going uh, for the Tangu achievement, so to speak, United Burman culture, but they, they failed a bit. They lost it all to uh, Ayutthaya, a little bit to Bengal. Yeah, they were pretty huge before then. And Ming, yeah, Ming is just Ming. I've been contemplating on improving with Ming and rivaling the Ottomans. But yeah, this won't happen. Nagar, the uh, Imperial flag. Sultanate of Nagar, yeah, well, it's a re the German Imperial flag, I don't know. I use flag mods, but as far as I know, the flag mods only uh, make the flags look older and more rippled. <sighs> Still got a diplomat. How is Scotland on the opinion? Yeah, they love me to bits. Does Muscovy? Yeah, well, I could try and improve relations with Muscovy, but it won't mean jack shit because they will stay. They will stay at 100 liberty desire forever. Ottomans, yeah, well, how long is my truce with Poland? 16, 18, that's actually pretty close. I think I checked, yeah, my claim will last that long. Hmm, yeah, I'll 
have fun now. So, well, uh, the Ottomans are already at war? No, and they got no allies left. No allies for the Ottomans. Okay. And they will still honor... Yeah, they honor the Garen. They are 5,000 in debt. Okay. Okay, sure. Well, I could improve a little bit more with Pomerania. Max amount. I could also improve with my allies. Yeah, like Saxony and stuff. I'll improve with you. There we go. And sp speed it up a little. Is the ready? So that was the last Prussian province I could do, I think. So let's focus on the Lithuanians now. Oh well. Oh, hi, hi there, uh, Pomerania. What are you up to? Pomerania is actually uh, going for uh, is actually going for the fort here. Uh, how about not? How about you come back and attach to me? Yeah, come back, please. Yeah, I'm half tempted to go for it. If the Swedes are up here. Sick with 60k. <laughs> it's dangerous though. If I if they engage now, nah, I won't do it. I don't need do I come on Muscovy protect your land. Uh, Muscovy Oh, the Ottomans are going for uh, Poland. Thanks a lot, Ottomans. Please full annex them so uh, they can join my coalition. Yeah, I don't like this. Hello. Hello. Could you please... Ah, okay. They are engaging them. See, as you can see, they are defending their land. Yeah, well... I don't like what they are doing over there. I'll move all my troops here and see from there. Where are you even going? I'll do the uh, Lithuanians. Yep. 0.8? Why is it so low here? See the strong aristocrats, huh? Uh, okay... So my consort, the prince consort actually was from... Oh, that cannot be. How can I get see the strong or that... What? I didn't marry, uh... I didn't marry Titanic Order, that was... So how can they get see the sun? I probably just got a prince from integrated. Yeah, probably I got the air by events. After I integrated the Titanic Order. Oh well. Oh, I totally forgot this province. Oh, let's do the Latvians. Should probably uh Go for Plock though, because why not? It's a, it's in a state of mind. I don't like what they are doing though. Oh, I could get Plock pretty easily, and then the Ottomans can take that. But I wanted it. Ah, it's 19 development for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, well, the Ottomans will take my development in my state. Sh is it even in my state? Oh, no, it's not. But Plock is, right? Yeah, Plock is, so that's six development I could go for. Yeah, well, why not?
Um, call you back for a second. Oh. Um, Pomerania, for the love of God, attach to the stack I told you to attach to. Double not. Why not vassalize the Poles and use their claims? Because I almost... Yeah. Because it's the HRE Emperor. And he is allied to, he is allied to most of my allies. I won't... Uh, Saxony is actually my dynasty, so I won't attack them. They might fall in a union under me if they die else. So, uh, no. Ah, uh, oops. Saxon, you. And the Ottomans, yeah, they're already at war. I could call in Saxon, but uh, I, I don't think I will need you. Time to die, Mr. Paul. <laughs> they didn't even die? Seriously? Level two for by yeah. Yeah. What are the odds that the Ottomans uh, abandon the siege Shh. next to nothing? But still, who knows? They might get a declaration of war from like Ming. <laughs> But I can wipe Poland off the map here and revoke all their cars and shit. Shoot. At least uh, Pomerania attached to me. Ah, come on in, bro. Where are you even going? Where is he even going? Here, I suppose? Ah, uh, well, fine. Get out. No! Could it be he's actually moving uh, towards France? Would that even be possible? If he's moving into France, then I should really start thinking about farming favors with... Uh... No, he stopped. And he backtracks. Yes, silly AI. I will just uh, start improving relations again. I should place more cannons here. Do I have more? Yep. Okay. Oh, cool. I would have wanted to take that 20 development, but... Eh. And Sweden really doesn't know what to do. Left. Our union has a bad rep. Come on, Muscovy. You don't have a bad reputation. Ugh. Seriously. What is this now? Milan declared on the Papal State. Oh, that will... So Milan will be at war with Great Britain, unless Great Britain dishonors it. So that... Wait a moment. Yeah. That's Great Britain at war with Castile and... Yeah. That, no, Castile and Milan at war? Wait, what? Oh, you sneaky AI bugger! Milan actually broke broke the alliance, forced Castile to break alliance with Portugal. Yeah, M Morocco will jump on that. Morocco will jump on them. Morocco will jump on them then, because they are only allied to the Papal State, and the Papal State will dishonor alliance. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at this. Yeah, and Morocco has a claim. Uh, we might see Andalusia, folks, if Morocco. Uh, has the 
The ner yeah, and it's a militarist. Oh God, he'll do it. He'll do it. In fact, maybe I should consider invading the Portugals. Uh, because why not? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's a good idea. Can I actually release? No, I cannot release jack shit out of this. Hmm. Can I even make peace now, I wonder? I bet not. Yeah, I should really. Oh well, I'll max out Saxony first. Ah! Okay. Poland will cede Lublin to the Ottomans. <laughs> sure. Three more. Fine, I'll wait a month. So, does uh, Sweden have access to Denmark somehow? Nope. How's uh? Yeah, well, if they are uh, busy, busy over here in Muscovy, I won't interfere. Yeah, well, I could. And get some. Uh, if I seize land back from occupations from my own subject, does it gain trust? I don't think so. I think they only gain a bit of uh, opinion, but not trust, right? Right? Oh man, Paradox changed this so many times, I, I don't even know how this works in current patch. So, would I get. Would I farm trust with Muscovy if I de siege their occupied provinces? I got no clue. Can anybody in the chat confirm the eye if it does or doesn't? Yeah, they're carpeting Muscovy, alright. But it won't help you out. Muscovy cannot separate peace out. Yeah, see? <laughs> I predicted it. I predicted it. Morocco is going for it. Oh, wait, what? Is France defender of the fate? No. So why exactly does France join Portugal? Um. 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 Opinion, maybe? Portuguese is threatened. And French attitude towards no, it's it's not enforced. Why is France pro what? Oh, France is allied to Morocco. <laughs> France is actually helping Morocco to kill M Portugal. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so revoke all their cores, kebab, all their gold. And that's the end of Poland, ladies and gentlemen. We started with Poland and uh, Lithuania being able to form the PLC. Then the Ottomans came knocking, forcing me to uh, dishonor my alliance with uh, Poland. We invaded Poland. Lithuania, five years later, when ma when uh, the PLC was being stumped by everybody and their mother. Saxony took a bite. Ottomans took a big bite. Muscovy took a big bite. I took a big bite. <laughs> and now uh, we already full annex Lithuania. And now we will full annex uh, Poland. Say goodbye to Poland. Anybody care? Oh, yeah, wait a moment. Does Saxony have a claim on this? No. The Saxon is here as vital interest? No, so nobody will care. Not 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 that it matters, but 
So yeah, good fight, good night, Poland. Oh, good fight. Okay. And it's a state course, so I can just give it to uh, I don't know. If I give it to the, uh, we'll probably no. I could give it to the clergy, but I think there was another province I still had to give to the clergy. Yeah, this one. Yeah, but that would increase it past 80, so... Hello, clergy, when do you uh, lose that? 1626, oh well. I could give this to the... Uh, it has 50 autonomy. Speaking of autonomy, can I use Happy Russian yet? Yes, I can. 19 provinces will get minus 10 autonomy. This is so, so ridiculously powerful. Charge my laser. Fire. Bam. I shoot. I should have waited. I should have waited on London. Damn. Atwix, you idiot. Yeah, okay. Silly me. Ah, hi there, Riku. Silly me. Yeah, that's my own damn fault. I could have gotten minus 10 autonomy in, uh, in London also. And the English separatists are only at 60%. Shoot. That was stupid. I will call this one for sure. London. And there isn't... There isn't... No. Mm. I'm starting to wonder if this Protect Trade Edict would be worth it in uh, Danzig to get more trade power in the Baltic. Is Otto still your ally? No. Believe it or not, Iku, uh, Muscovy fell into a union under Rostov, under me, because the uh, Muscovite ruler died airless, and I was the only same dynasty nation on the map, so I became defensive claimant. And because Muscovy had flagged Great Britain as a rival, Great Britain actually attacked me in succession war over Muscovy. But because Muscovy became my subject, the Ottomans insta broke alliance. Because of minus 200 once provinces from... Uh, but this is the diplomatic situation now. France went for Savoy. I was contemplating on going for Sweden, but France beat me to it. France beat me to it. Oh well. I should probably uh, completely core it, even though expensive it may be, and then give it to the traders, I suppose. Because... reasons. Well, 39 development. Man, that could have been 29 if I had just waited on charge my laser. I could increase this now, the autonomy, and I think I'll do it, just to, uh, how many English separatists would I get? 30k. Is it even possible to get them out? Might be if I now, uh, just, yeah, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. Could have co made this estate also, but uh... oh, the Ottomans are going for Persia. In that case, I should be I, I should be contemplating on attacking Persia. Plan to take influence for maximum PU shenanigans. Yeah, but we are a bit short on uh, admin and diplo. <laughs> Oh, the Swedes. All the Swedes are running down. How much? Is that the entire army from Sweden? Uh, war enemies. 75k they got. That's 50. Yeah, their entire army is over here. I could just stroll on in and murder them. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I could start a siege here and once I see them backtracking... 
Farm some favors with, uh... Yeah. I don't care if they, uh... Well... Maybe I should... Maybe I should engage them. And why is Pomerania once again not following me around? Hi, Double Nut. I said attach. Do it. No! We don't fit like. Press off! Yeah, they got. Where are they going? Yeah, they're moving into France now. <laughs> oh, come on. So, improve with somebody else, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's so easy. Because you, your uh, opinion is low. Oh yeah, wait a moment, shoot, I need uh, access first, in Denmark. And Pomerania, for the love of God. No, we won't listen. Shh, stupid son of a bitch. Why don't you want to attach to me? I'll just cross the trade into uh, Sweden. Start a siege on. Wait, what? Um. Fleet? What do you mean, fleet? If I got access through Denmark, can a fleet actually blockade me? What? I got access through Denmark and the fleet is blockading me from entering Denmark? I never even knew it worked that way. So, if you got access through Denmark and if Sweden places a fleet there, they can actually block you from going into Denmark. I, from using the straits, I mean. Never even knew that. Uh, sure, I guess. Pretty really weird, though. Never seen that happen. Let's do that, the last ones. I don't occupy bloody block plays. Oh, man. Yeah, fine, whatever. Pretty weird. So what I could do is uh, wait until the fleet is far away. I don't get it. I still don't get it. Yeah. Piss off. Where the hell did... What? Hey! Come on, Pomerania, for the love of God. How about no focus? Will you attach to me then? Probably not. Should I engage them or not? Yeah, Eco, that is pretty normal. The moment you border, the moment you border militaristic Ottomans, they will break alliance with you unless you are really, really big. I managed to keep my alliance in uh, other runs, in After Action reports and in other streams. But when I made, did my Granada into Tunis campaign, I actually managed to keep the Ottomans as ally, even though they had militarists. 
but that was simply because uh, the Ottomans are now rigged to expand northwest and northeast once they took over Egypt. Well, if an AI, if a player takes over Egypt, they won't desire your land. They won't flag it as vital lands. They will simply shift it to Muscovy and uh, DHRE. That's what happened in my uh, Granada run. Ah, for the love of God. Why, AI, are you not attaching to me? He's flat out refusing. Oh, air fell ill? Where did that air fell ill? Brandenburg, did I see that right? No, he probably survived. Yeah, please go to that. Please go to uh, France, I was gonna say, but no. Over 80 thrust. Yeah, try getting 80 thrust with the Ottomans. Try getting that. How would you do that? You cannot farm favors easily with the Ottomans. Especially if they're uh, 3,000 development, so to speak. Where the heck are you going, Pomerania? Really? You're un unsupportive and you're going into Sweden? Should I engage these guys? I don't know. Where's the other army from uh, Sweden? I'm not seeing it. I'm half tempted to just stay here, not do anything. And uh, place my entire army here. Yeah, they're really moving. Where the fuck are you going? Pomerania. And oh yeah, that might be it. They might actually... No. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, what if I set a siege command? Hey Pomerania, go and siege that up. Do you listen? Yes you do. So, movement order cancelled thanks to that. Now go supportive again and watch them attach you. I hope. No. 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 Okay, cancel. Uh, yeah, well. Maybe I should g just go and siege it. And, uh... Create an ice stack to protect it. Because why not? Uh, Streltsy, I should, uh... Leave my normal units behind. Man, I should have declared that war on Sweden, god damn it. I waited too long again. Oh well. Yeah, something like this. 38. Just do whatever. The army of Sweden is not so grand. Oh, really? No. Well, we're getting close to 100% religious unity. I should take a look at that Persian war. Whoa. Bim bam, yeah, I gotta go soon. So the Ottomans actually declared on uh, on Persia, but the trouble is, if I declare on Persia, I think Muscovy has a claim on them. Yes, they do. I could feed them loads and loads and loads and loads, but that will make Muscovy only stronger. So, and I cannot core Persia because it's not in. Uh, I cannot core it next to an European vessel because it's in Asia. Oh, thanks. Norman can Uh oh! Hmm. Hmm. Thirty-two and thirteen is forty-five, forty-one, 
and three maneuver. Uh oh, they're going for it. Okay, that's my heir on the throne now. Five, four, five. We got him by event. And a pretender, uh, probably. Rise of a pretender in Muscovy, of course. Of all the pro possible provinces for the Muscovy pretenders, it's in Mariupol. Okay, sure. So we, Muscovy will probably kill them themselves, but I gotta take a eye on it. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this fight. So Sweden, Tech 17, me Tech 17. Do I have something? Uh, no, I don't have a military advisor. Oh well. Now I'm curious. Sweden does not have military stuff. What is the? Uh, they got quality though. Pomerania has quality troops with infantry combat ability. So they will likely take the center. And hi there, Sweden. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh well. Unions cannot break away if their capital is occupied. What was what was, was I even doing with ah, Silesia, I think? Uh, yeah. By the way, do I have royal marriages with everybody I can? Yep, looks like it. Okay. So as you can see... Okay, I actually managed to beat them here. 22nd of February. Oh, well, I'm gonna zoom in on this. I wanna watch our... Uh, I do versus Sweden. Okay. They got more morale. The uh Ah uh, for the love of God. My troops took the took the center, really? Oh yeah, but this the Streltsy took the center because they got fire damage bonus plus ten percent. Yeah, lucky that we did a, a really great fire roll and Sweden actually did a nine fire roll. Nine. And an 8 shock roll. Yeah, thanks a lot, Orange Jesus. Thanks a lot. Oh, we will we will be we are getting murdered here. Wait, what? Uh no, we didn't get murdered. Huh. Okay, so we so we won it. Oh. Pomerania. I don't know what your uh, problem is, but could you please? What do I have to do? Cancel the uh, order here? Us. For the love of God, I should have done it when they were out. As you can see, province commands do work. Did you see that? The moment I cancel it, they move out. The moment I re-enable it, they stay. Anybody saying that province commands are still buggy, they aren't. They haven't been since patch uh, 1.17 or so. I believe it or not, but you can use. No. No. If Sweden is busy, busy over here and the other guys are routed, I could use these guys, split them up, and start carpeting him. Because... why not? Sweden will be back though, with a vengeance, so I shouldn't do it. I really shouldn't do it. The forts are, will give me war participation and blah blah blah. Um, I should try... No, not Strelzi. I should try to get the Pomeranians attached. That should work. 
cannot reach Stockholm, they are blocking the strait, but now their entire nation is wide open for attack. And I own the fort now. Yeah, and I think I flagged this all as vital interest. Did I? Who knows, maybe they might, France might give me something. Ah, uh, Rostov. Yeah, I flagged this all as vital interest. In fact, I should flag some more. Something like this. Mm. Hi there, uh, Napogadnezzar. <laughs> nice name. Oh, oops. For the love of God, Pomerania. Ah, could you please go and see that then? See, and they do it immediately. So whoever is saying they, they don't listen, not true. Oh, I could tell Pomerania to siege this up because Sweden will actually uh, come from there. While I occupy stuff in the north, but no, 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 no. Sweden will likely backtrack and siege this fort up, so I want Pomerania up there. And I. Yeah, why is this even worth it? I got 73% war participate. 73! Yeah, I'll farm favors galore with France if they full annex uh, Savoy. But I should try and. Uh, Maybe I should reconsider this and just go for a uh, version. I don't know. Feeding Muscovy. Feeding Muscovy stuff to get to get them will only lower their liberty desire, but it won't increase their trust. Only claims increase trust, yeah, by pretenders. I need to keep an eye on you though. Do you get war participation for PU subjects contribution? Yes you do as far as I'm concerned as, as far as I know. I don't know if you can see that. But uh any battle, any siege, any blockade by anybody of my subject likely counts. May as well fight the war, I guess. See, they are going there immediately. So whoever is saying it doesn't work, the province commands, you're wrong. They do work. How much of a stack was that? 45k or something, right? They'll be, they'll be back. So I cannot siege this up. I could run around, though. Split up. What is the shortest route? Yeah, you go this way. And you go, I don't know, there. See from there. That's my stick. Oh. Ah, wait a moment. Now they don't? Oh yeah, bec because it's being seized by me, they don't listen anymore. Why in the nine hells aren't they attaching to me? I really don't get it. I really don't. Yeah, should be a pretty decent stack. Do I risk carpeting, carpeting them up here? I. Uh, Good, I guess. Pumpling <laughs> with those tanks again. Oh man, I'm gonna get so wiped. I'm gonna get so wiped here. Why am I even doing it? I mean, it's just for favors. 
I really shouldn't be doing this. But anything for some war particip- I Stray provinces won't give me war up, uh, so I should be going for, uh, going for the throat and try- Can I even reach their capital? I think I gotta siege up Bergslagen first. So what advisor am I running with? Oh, it was another uh, guy that died. What's this now? Dominance of the clergy? 81%? How are you at 81% all of a sudden? That won't trigger, I'm pretty sure uh, some modifier will expire. <laughs> yeah, well. 1st of March 26. And this is 2nd of April 26. Yeah, great. Thanks for bothering me with that game. Uh, I need to revoke a province. I'll probably revoke this again. Uh, yeah, sure. 79. So, I don't know. I suppose I, I could risk it. I gotta occupy it if I want France to give it to me. It's dangerous though. So, can I actually reach Stockholm? No, I gotta siege this up first. And as long as that 40k stack... Ah, uh, what? It's off Cossacks, I don't know. This has really low supply limit. But, with my general, this might be doable. I agree, but hi there, Sweden. Where the where in the nine hells did you come from? From Österbotten and then down. Looks like it. Oh, and they're wiping me out. That's not good. I could try. Going there, make some mercs here and land them on Stockholm, but that is uh so now I know that, that they are there, I can actually cop it. Oh well cop it he says. <laughs> That's not much of a cop it. Uh Oh, that's a level 4 fort. Yeah, sub this then. Mm. Uh, I don't know. The Swedes might kill me in a jiffy. If they don't run around into Muscovy, I will just bail. And I should use uh, some infantry, I guess. So, seven. How much do I need again for a level four fort? Isn't it well? I'm gonna need more than that. Oh, well. Let's use these guys then. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Ah shoot, they're coming back. I'm gonna be killed here. I shouldn't have done it. I start with a uh, minus seven on the fort though. Uh, I'm not gonna split up then. Everybody here. Ah shoot, they blocked me off. 
Yeah, they're gonna kill me. Why did I even do this? No oh, well. I'm just doing this one now. Naval race versus Brabant. And yeah, what is my fleet limit now? 33. I could make some trade ships, I suppose. And start patrolling here. Yeah, I could do that. Problem is that uh, Sweden will always kill them. Still. How many would I even need? 33. 75 of 33, that's like, I don't know, 25, so I could just make more transport, that is likely a better idea. So I'll take that mission, and how much, I could even do both of them. I shoot, I should have done the Brabant one first, that was lower. Meh. Nah. Only five. I'll make thirty for good measure, I guess. Yeah, no, not there. Yeah. What's the liberty desire from Pump? Scotland is getting crazy high. That's not good. 38 already. Need to keep an eye on that. So I, I was right not feeding Scotland anymore. In fact, I should integrate them. I should integrate them on the double after the war. What's the supply limit on this province? 26. I will lose no matter what. Even even if I uh, place all my troops here, they will still get wiped. But I could play it a little bit slower, hope they engage my stack here, and throw everything in. Oh well, if you uh, don't care about the stack. You know what? I think it's worth it to barrage this. Is there a breach already? Nah, 70 points though. Well, it might mean the difference now between uh, getting the fort or not. So, Aaron Jesus! Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, no, they aren't engaging me. Okay then. Yeah, now they are. Thirteen of January. Can I escape that? Yes, I can. So, should I do it this way then? I'm still not sure if. Yeah, ninth of January, thirteenth of January. They will kill me no matter what. But if I fight defensively over here, I might have a shot at it. They got infantry combat ability and whatnot. Can I take another? Yeah, no. I cannot take that. I'm horribly tanked in Diplo and Admin Tech. I don't. That's like my entire bloody army. 
How are these guys? To oh, yeah, I should probably use the uh, charge my laser. The, uh, the English separatists. Do I have war exhaustion? Yeah, that is probably why. Um, do I have an unrest guy? Yeah, don't ask. It's a new mod, but uh, I'll disable it. New mod with uh, random photo advices, but if they got Hitler in it, I don't want to get banned. I'll disable that mod if I had known. I could separate piece out. But I don't have a diplomat. Oh, can I run out to Dallas Kogan maybe? That work. No, because it's uh No it won't. Seventh of January, third of January. Oh yeah, I could do it. Recall my uh but no, wait a moment. Can I even uh. Fight them or not fight them. If I fight them, I will lose. I can just... But if I stand my ground, I might have a shot at getting this fort. So I think I'll do this. That'll be horrible attrition. But they might not engage me. Might. It's a big might though. Ah, a commandant. Yeah, well, I could get a disciplined guy on. What the heck are these? <laughs> are you seeing these advisor portraits? I downloaded a mod for uh, that's Iron Man compatible with, with really with different advisor portraits, but what the heck? Who else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, not very friendly to the German viewers. I, I might my stream might even get banned, right? If I uh, show if I show Hitler's portrait uh, in E4. Oh well, it's historical figures, but I don't like this mod. I'm gonna disable it. Oh yeah, Pan Benny, welcome to the stream. It's uh, Rostov on very hard mode. Yeah, well, they aren't going for it. They're going to Stockholm. Might he be going for this stack? Yeah, but he might be going from Stockholm. He might be going to Stockholm and then into Bergslagen. Is there? Because of... Uh, yeah. The AI does that now, by the way. The AI will avoid a uh, river crossing penalty if they can. So they are likely moving into Stockholm and then onto this fort to avoid the river crossing penalty. So RNG is how much time? 13 days. I might have a shot at this. Watch them going from Stockholm into Bergslagen. If not, then I'm really lucky. Then they are afraid of me. Now oh, well, Scotland. No, they aren't, and I didn't get... I'll be damned. They really are going for this stack. By the way, how's the Pretender Rebels? Yep, dead. Ah, shoot. I didn't see that they occupied stuff over here. So instead of there, could you please go and siege your own damn stuff? I should probably move these guys out again? Would they be able to backtrack? Backtrack Stockholm and engage me? I think not. Will they? Are they? No, they're not. They're, ca they're carrying on. So we'll get Stockholm and we'll get glorious war participation. Come on! The vendors desert at 71%. Really, game? Whatever. How's the disputed succession window, by the way? 
Württemberg still airless. Yeah, they're uh, they're if they are focusing on uh, thanks, Billard. Bergslagen down and out. Stockholm is 54. Yeah, but it's. I could run my other cannons up. Yeah, but this is way more important. This is way more important. Ah, come on! France! I was seizing Stockholm for crying out loud, and you end the war? Yeah, I could have formed some more. Uh, 24 favors with France. Okay, that might have been worth it. And Savoy got full annexed. And I got 266 ducats out of that war. Okay, yeah, sure. That was worth micromanaging a bit for. Okay, sure. So, Scotland. Oh, uh, I could also uh, tech up Diplo. That is horribly... Now, I'll just integrate them. I'll just start integration of Scotland. So, I got jack shit from France. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Even though fi flagging this as fight interest, blah, 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 they give me jack shit. But I got the favors. Oh, well. So, Persia, tell me about yourself. I gotta go anyhow, folks, so uh, the stream will likely, uh, so if, for the folks that just joined, oh, do art and stuff and Nebuchadnezzar, uh, this was just, I will continue this tomorrow morning, though, probably. I just slept really late. If you want to know what happened uh, during yesterday when I didn't stream, just watch the video on the man. I used screenshots again. They still got 79,000 troops, though, Persia. I don't think I will meddle. Yeah, that said, I could if if Ottomans fully occupied them. I don't know. Granting provinces to Muscovy to lower their liberty desire. I don't know. They got like one hundred and eighty percent. So no, it simply won't work. I need to integrate Scotland, and then I must feed Muscovy. Because at the moment it's just not worth it. Oh yeah, and I got 100%. Uh, can I get a tech? Is it ahead of time now? Yeah, I can get that 100% spy network. I can get some more claims in England. Prob. Wait, what? <laughs> Hi there, Castile in naval invading England. Yeah. Something, something tells me Britain is dead. Down and out. If the Papal State, East Frisia and Aachen get attacked, they will have no allies. And my truce is, uh, we started the stream, by the way, with an invasion of, uh, Great Britain. Scotland is my, uh, now. 1628, so yeah, in seven years I can actually hit him again. So I should, uh, just make more claims. More, more, more. And I own London, by the way. I, uh, Rostov owns London. Um, I don't know. Did I get a claim here? Yeah. So what are the really big, the really big developments? Yeah, 63 in Wessex, the, the really big development. Yeah, Northumbria combined, but, but this though, Wessex, 63. But Ireland might be uh, equally, yeah, and Ireland will be less aggressive expansion because it's further away. I might go for Ireland, but if London is, uh, I, I, I really should take English culture only. So I think I will make my claims on, uh, on Wessex. 21, yes please. 22, yes please. And, uh, oh, Francis claims on this, shoot. They might break a line if it's a military. No, well, never mind. 
What kind of a ruler personality do we have? It's, yeah, Queen Jan, if she survives, she won't care if I take a button. So, okay. Continue on. No, Scotland, you won't become a march. In fact, how long would it take to integrate you now? 1048, that's not that bad. If I stack up on diplomatic reputation, yeah, 1650, that is not that bad. I'll do it. Integrate Scotland. Their liberty desire is going up. How much is my force limit now? Yeah, I'm at max force limit. More or less. And they are still unhappy. The problem is I gotta watch this. If Scotland goes above 50% liberty desire, then uh, the Ottomans... Well, the Ottomans won't. Because they didn't rival me, right? Now, but Sweden, yeah, Sweden is on a truce now, though Great Britain might support them, but that doesn't matter. Because as mo the moment I declare on Great Britain, their support will be gone. So, yeah, should I worry about their, uh... I don't see a reason. And what kind of, yeah, and I already got, so how much, uh, does this take now? Annexing Scotland, minus three. Three only? Why only three? Do I still have... I, yeah, I got bad reputation. Do I... St I still got this one. Annex subjects. Oh, in November that will be gone. So then I'll integrate Scotland even faster. I'll integrate Scotland then at... Six a month. Yeah, six a month. So thousands... How much is it? 1048 divided by 6 divided by 12 yeah it will only take 14 years 14 years and a bit to integrate Scotland then I'll do it I'll do it and got and we might even integrate Pomerania when can I integrate Pomerania when did that union happen again I got no clue it suits say somewhere in a pop up in, or in a tooltip yeah in 1653 I can actually integrate Pomerania also okay and with that folks I'll end the stream I think tomorrow I will likely invade Great Britain again people are uh, invading them left right and center but I don't think the war they are in right now will actually Castile won't take land from them so uh, I'll can, I can just murder them. And I really hope they will actually uh, kill all their uh, troops. So what I should be doing is uh, moving all my troops down to the furthest possible province. What is the shortest route? Probably, he yeah, I, I will move one stack here. And that stack can take a really weird route, I don't know, here. And then I will ferry them over using my, uh... Yeah. Where are these other boats? There, okay. So, France, thanks for the favors! How many favors does that give me now, in France? 30? 39! Man, I'm tempted to increase my trust now. France is a useless... They, they only got like 38k here. So I should probably up my trust a little. Oh... Do I? I could call them in versus, uh, I don't know, Castile? Is it possible? Austria and Milan, huh? Nah, Milan will honor the agreement with, uh, with uh, Castile. I still don't get... If anybody knows why... Can anybody tell me why Castile didn't form France yet? Aragon is not 50% is not, uh, liberty desire. They did ally with New Castile. For some reason, I think this is bugged. They own all the... Pro Castile owns all the provinces to form Spain. 
They got the tech level, they got everything, and still in 1621, no Spain. If anybody has a clue, why not? Please enlighten me. I still don't know if I should go for Persia or not. Cannot get a core there, right? No. Yeah, I could up the trust. Maybe I should make uh, Persia my rival and just... Yeah, Muscovy flagged it all as vital interest, so... Did I flag it all as vital interest? Yes, I did, so Muscovy might make more claims. Maybe I should check if... Uh, if, Musk if Persia accepts threatened war. But then I would lose my CB on Persia. Uh, I st I'm not sure. It's a given that Persia will die after this Ottoman invasion, so I should hit them. How much time do I have before the truce with uh, Great Britain? 1628, huh? Uh, I should probably also uh, increase my stability. But that is so bloody expensive, thanks to reliance on Streltsy and, uh... Well... I don't know, minus one stability is doable. But it's these English Separatists I don't like. I don't want them to spawn. In order to form Spain, there must be no Muslims in Iberia. Oh, really? So... But why? It's Portuguese! I never even knew that is blo that is a requirement to form Spain. So you're saying because uh, Morocco owns stuff in, in Portugal that Spain cannot form? I've never heard of that, but I'll believe you on your word. And by the way, Morocco is invading... Uh, Morocco is invade. We might see Portugal down and out. They're 156%, but I think uh, they own claims on it, so who knows? What I also should take a look at is uh, farming absolutism. The, the, uh, the age of absolutism has hit. And I could actually use slash abuse harsh treatment. But the corruption is making it silly. Silly, uh, expensive. I could lower it by ordering an icon, but that is not worth, uh... If I wouldn't have had that corruption, then it's the ideal way to combine the icon for less harsh treatment cost, combined with, uh... The icon, what was I talking about? The icon for, uh, I'm pretty sure there is one. Yeah, here. The Icon of the Lusa. That is a third DLC Rome feature. The Icons. I'm using Improved Relations and Aggressive Expansion basically non-stop. But this one would get rid of the uh, English Separatists and would also make cost, cost less. But I still think it's not worth it. Oh well, I need to think on this folks. What my next move should be. Go for uh, Persia maybe. Don't see a reason why not. But the... The problem is, I won't be able to take provinces for myself. I can only transfer the occupation to uh, Muscovy and give it to them directly. It would up my trust with them though. My trust with them now is 13. <laughs> would be better. But it's only mine. The, only, the big deal with Muscovy is uh, the trust is only giving them 14% liberty exact. So, get. Feeding Muscovy sounds like a bad idea. I shouldn't do it. I, what I need to do is integrate Scotland, eat Great Britain alive, grow, 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 and in the end, we might see that Muscovy go loyal. Possible. Do I have any other target, meanwhile, that I could go for? <laughs> Stuff in the HRE, but no, that will give me plenty of uh
plenty of aggressive expansion, which I want to keep for Sweden and Great Britain inside the HO. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day here, folk, folks. Um, I'm gonna go to my girlfriend, do uh, social obligations and whatnot, and uh, I will uh, probably stream this game again tomorrow uh, morning Central European time because my girlfriend is actually at, was at work until uh, ten minutes ago. So I'll just be a good dog and uh, go to her place. And uh, if you were at 1621, Rostov is alive and kicking. And uh, to end this stream with, uh, I haven't done it yet, I'll show the timeline. From uh, Rostov. It's pro it won't mean a lot. Rostov starts here as a one province miner from uh, from Muscovy. Muscovy expanded earlier on, early on like there's no tomorrow. I actually managed to do uh, an independence war early on backed by Poland, but Poland was in debt and they uh, betrayed that alliance. And uh, I gave myself up to Muscovy again as a uh, as an in the, as a vassal, and I got my independence back by the Ottomans, Poland, Denmark, and Morocco. It's the Moroccan alliance, but that is how I got Muscovy and stuff. The alliance. Then we started delving in here, full annexing the Livonian order, vassalizing Teutonic order, expanding them, eating Lithuania alive. Th that was the war where we micromanaged them, where I fucked up on the Ottoman war enthusiasm and there we go Scotland is my vassal also and uh, yeah that's it we integrated Teutonic Order and just took London thanks for watching folks and I hope to see you tomorrow if you want to know what happened uh, during the last stream and uh, the start of this stream watch the video on demand I used some screenshots basically yesterday all I did was speed 5 and I got two unions out of the blue. Out of the blue. Bam. Muscovy was airless 28. 28 years old. Airless Muscovy king. And it, he just died. Don't ask. RNG just probably. <laughs> striking him down. And I uh, triggered a, a defensive succession war over Muscovy. And uh, Great Britain contested. Great Britain contested my same dynasty rights. To take uh, Muscovy as a personal union subjects and uh, I got Scotland out of that because the Ottomans actually naval invaded Great Britain believe it or not they, they invaded Great Britain the Ottomans in the succession war after they broke alliance with me during the war for wanting land over Muscovy <laughs> so yeah RNG just smiled upon us again thanks for watching folks and I hope to see you tomorrow bye bye